You're listening to the Chat City interviews on 103.2 Preston FM. And you're with Chat City on Preston FM, uh, around the city of Preston, South Rebel. And to all our listeners worldwide, thank you for choosing Preston FM and Chat City. Now, the Preston Pals were a group of men from the Preston area in Lancashire who volunteered to fight during the First World War. In the autumn of 1914, volunteers from all over the country represented the flower of British youth who were willing to fight for their country. After the campaigns of 1915 and the Battle of the Somme the following year, their deeds were written in blood across the battlefields of France. The Preston Pals later fought with distinction in Belgium in 1917. And Pals for Life is an exciting opportunity for young people and adults to learn about the First World War and the Pals battalions that served in the North West. And uh, to tell us more about that, I'm pleased to say that uh, on the telephone right now is Dan Rowbottom. So, Dan, a very good morning to you. Good morning. So, um, um, particularly in 2014, a very poignant year now to be doing this, uh, I take it, Dan. Yeah, very much so, yes. Uh, we kind of wanted to do a project kind of at the start of the centenary uh, commemorations because we knew there was going to be a lot of projects going on. So we wanted to kind of start now and, and have something ready for, for next year. Right. So tell us a little about then, uh, and, and I do apologise, I've not asked, uh, you, you're the project coordinator, aren't you, for Preston Pals? I don't think I mentioned that. I am the uh, project coordinator, but that covers many, many things, I imagine. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Okay, well, uh, tell us a little then about uh, Pals for Life and uh, what what is going to be happening then. It's a, um, a, a project for young people and adults to, to learn about the Preston Pals, um, and it's a chance for them to research uh, something about their local history as well. The idea is not just to do First World War, but to actually kind of bring it alive for the area. And um, we're going to be making a short film um, in Preston uh, about the Pals, and uh, the kind of the moment, it's a question of researching, getting our details and information right so we can put the correct things into this film. Right. And uh, I, I understand you're going to be working alongside Northwest Archive, who uh, will be teaching participants how to record oral history. Yeah, so while there, while there are obviously no survivors for... Uh, the First World War veterans, uh, there are Second World War veterans who also remember their, their parents' involvement in the, um, uh, in the uh, First World War. So we're kind of trying to go back as far as we can with the oral history. And we've also spoken to some people who can uh, recollect their grandfathers uh, talking about the First World War. So it's getting a lot harder, obviously, for people to kind of capture that uh, first-hand uh, evidence. But um, that's what we're going to try and get towards. Right. So, who who are you looking for? Who are the people probably that you know could make contact with you? It's well, it's we're running this project actually in three areas: in Salford, in Burnley, and in Preston. Uh, so there will actually be three films uh, made in in total. Um, and in Salford, uh, we've had um, we've had some, uh, quite a range of people. We've had young people um, in university who's who want to take on um, something interesting to, to fill their time with. Um, we've uh, had people who are veterans uh, from more recent conflicts who want to kind of um, understand kind of their previous uh, conflicts. Uh, and local histor- historians, uh, enthusiasts of uh, history. Um, it's a wide range, mm. a wide range of groups. So it makes for a fun uh, uh, meeting. <laughs> yeah, I- I'm sure. And uh, it's interesting to see that... Um, Participants will be able to take part in handling sessions and look at artifacts from World War One. Yes, we've got. Um, we're in partnership with the Imperial War Museum, so they are. Um, they have a resource actually for for any other projects out there who are interested uh, and want to do uh, handling sessions. Obviously, they have artifacts uh, that they're using kind of all the time, but there's certain points where they they don't need them. And they want to kind of get them out there into the community so people can um, uh, look at them and see what they're about. Um, I've been on um, a couple of the handling sessions and um, there's some very unusual things, especially kind of the very early um, uh, 
prosthetics that kind of uh, mask uh, facial injuries and things like that. Some very um, scary kind of things, I think. Right. So here in Preston, if people make contact with you, do you then all come together for the filming? Will the filming take place actually within the city or around the city? We'd very much like to do uh, filming, um, some filming at least, in the city because there, there's so many parts that still um, feature uh, things that were, would have been seen in uh, 1914. Mm. Um, if you go to Salford, it, it doesn't look anything like 1914, <laughs> but, but Preston's very lucky to have uh, preserved a lot of um, its features. I agree. Like the Harris. Um, yes, I agree. Got, have got that wonderful front. Um, so, yes, we very much hope yeah. to film in it. I don't imagine everyone who's involved in the project will come along to the filming. I imagine some people are more interested in the research, some people are more interested in the filming. Um, however people want to be involved, they can come along for some or all of the, the project. Right. So the, the ones in Salford and Nelson, uh, they are presently underway a little farther than here in Preston at the moment. So how is it going there? Well, uh, the Salford one has been up and running for about a month, and they've got down to um, creating um, a story, and they're kind of on to a script for the, the film, uh, and they're just kind of trying, trying to tie it up um, with his historical evidence, because we want it to be an accurate uh, representation. Yes. I can um, so they're on, on to that kind of uh, phase of things, uh, and the, the uh, Burnley-Nelson area, they're still to get going, so... Preston will be in the middle of it all. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, that's where we like to be here in Preston, I can tell you. <laughs> so that, that's, that's nice to know. And there, there will then be, I understand, uh, hosted a film, a screening celebration in, in September. Tell us a little about that and where that will be held. Uh, the screening is going to be, will there be a, a first screening at the Imperial War Museum in um, Salford um, in their uh, main exhibition space. So that's kind of the, the big um, presentation and um, we hope to welcome everyone who's been involved in the project along the evening to, to watch it up on the big screen. And, and then it's also hopefully going to be screened somewhere more locally for each uh, group. Um, so uh, if anyone has suggestions of the venues, we're always welcome to hear of good places we could screen it. And from there it's going into um, schools locally. So schools will have um, the opportunity to um, see the film and have a, a day's uh, workshop about the uh, Preston Pals, which is which is all for free for them. Right, and then I mean, on completion at the end of all this, will it then itself go into some kind of uh, archive for future public access? I well, um, yes, it's certainly it's um, it's there for people to to use it and make use of it uh, if it's a, if it's a good resource. Uh, we. We ran a, a small um, First World War project about in 2009, and I do have requests still for the film, and it's still available for people to use. So, we very much hope that it can be uh, made use of. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an educational resource, so we, ha we want people to use it for that. Right. And uh, for listeners who are interested, how can they find out more, Dan, or get involved? They can pop onto our uh, website and um, make contact on there. Uh, which is uh, powellsforlife.info uh, um, and that's got all details and a contact and our telephone number and all things like that so they can get in touch. And we will be at the, uh, the Harris Museum um, Cafe tomorrow at uh, uh, 10.30 and so that's a chance for people who are interested and not quite sure how they fit in to come along and introduce themselves and talk to us and uh, we'll work something out. Wow. So that's 10.30 a.m. tomorrow at the cafe in the Harris Museum. That's the one, yes. They make a look lovely cup of coffee there, so you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it does sound a very exciting project, and I would imagine, as it says in the handout, particularly for young people and for adults to learn more about the First World War. I've just been watching the Jeremy Paxman programme on TV, um, I saw last night's episode, uh, and, and it's just fascinating, and the amount of information and history that you either don't know or you have forgotten, and this is a way of recreating it and keeping it alive for the memories of the people, sadly, who died. Yes, certainly. I think the harbour is there's so much 
that happened in those years of the war that I don't think anyone can ever know it all, you know. Mm. There's always something to learn for everyone. And uh, like you say, there's, there's kind of new information as well coming out at the moment. And the papers seem to, be, to have a lot of things, um, new documents coming to, to, to light about different information. It, it's, um, it's an interesting subject, but it's also obviously a very distressing one at times. And I yes. sometimes feel <laughs> it's quite a hard project to undertake. <laughs> I, I'm... I'm I can understand that Dan can I thank you for talking to us this morning and uh, I'm sure you will have quite a few uh, Prestonians and people down there at uh, the Harris Museum tomorrow morning at 10.30am wonderful thank you very much ok thank you very much Dan bye 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 for all the latest community news and events 103.2 Preston FM your community your radio